Mary Frances. Hey, Mary Frances. Do you hear me? You're getting me down. Getting in this body's getting tiresome. With the <coughs> ow, ow, ow. It's not so much fun. You gotta lighten up in here. I'm telling you something. So get your hand out of the Pringles tube right now. Get it out. I am bringing in the heavy nettles. And by nettles, I don't mean actual nettles. That's for another day. Today, I'm bringing the vegetable that is going to change your life. You got to eat a bunch of this stuff. And I'm talking, that's right, crabbages. Crabbages is the major food what you need. Because this stuff right here, when you fermentify it, it's got the lactobasculiscus stuff. And the last basculisca stuff don't turn you to stone like the other basculisca stuff. The stuff gets right down in your gut and puts down nice floras and faunas. The good stuff, the what you want. The stuff that helps you digest stuff. And it gets further down into your guts than the stuff that you get in the little white capsules that ain't working for you. A cautionary tale. The stuff that you find that's made with crabbages, but it's also made with vinegars. That ain't good for you. The stuff that's, stuff made, that's made with vinegars puts acid in the tummy. Acid attacks. Acid is not going to help your tummy one little bit. We're going to make the crabbages goo with salt. With salt and with whey powder. And if you want to get a little crazy, a little bit insane, you add a little bit of caraway seed. Mom! Or a little bit of juniper berries. Mom! If you want to get crazy, crazy, mental, insane, poopy pants and droopy drawers, which I'm not going to do, because I know you're a little conservative, Mary Frances, and I know we have to go slightly slower for you. It's like remedial food. If it's not in a bag or a box, you don't trust it. Let me tell you, you got a little issue here. It's about the pee and the poo. You know, you write about vegetables because they come from the ground and the ground is dirty. Whereas something in a bag, you don't think it's so dirty. You think it's clean. The absolute reverse is true. You know, yeah, farmers have to spray fields with poop, with cow poop, in order to put nutrients back in the soil. What I'm saying is, everything is poo in soil. And, and you are poo. You are full of poo. You gotta get over the poo thing. Get over the poo thing. So I'm just telling you something for your own fairy gut. I'm not trying to be mean to you just because you have a bad liver, which you still do. Okay, so here we go. Cabbage goo. You need a couple of jars. And I like these guys because they got the wide mouth. Like the wide mouth frog. I'm a wide mouth frog. These guys with the wide mouths is really good because you can squish more cabbage into them more easily. And that's one of the things you got to do. You got to pound the cabbage right down in the jar. Squish, squish, squish. Another thing you can do, you can wash them in hot water and salt. And that'll clean the inside and make sure no bad, bad bacteria happens. But don't worry too much. Don't worry. Bacteria. Let me just tell you something about those guys. Unless you have spent your life hermetically sealed in a plastic badge in, in a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You have been eating that stuff, breathing that stuff, and putting it all over the place and doing things with it you don't even want to know about. Don't talk to me about bacteria. <laughs> now, you got to take the outside leaves off of the cabbage. You can't use those guys. The machine comes with other attachments. I get so attached. Oh, Mary Frances. As much as I love the machine of yours, I'm not going to make you watch me buzz the cabbage. I know how much it bugs you. Believe me, I know. Just this one little bit. Just this one little bit. One little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy? Doing three of the crabbages. And after each time the bowl of the machine gets full, I really should have unplugged that. Because you never know. You could lose a couple of fingers in an eyeball. And it doesn't taste quite so good. Here it is. A whole mess of crabbage in a bowl. Couldn't be simpler. And don't you start with me about how hard it is to make crabbage goo. This could be made by a child of nothing. And is made by children of nothing all over fairyland.
children of nothing. Nothing is a great guy, but he's a little bit of a ladies' man, and there's a lot of children, and don't get me started. Anyway, so we got a big bowl of cabbage. So we're gonna add a big bunch of salt. Now I mean a big bunch, because I like a salty, and because this stuff can take it. You want a lot of salt, and then this is my secret. This is what makes my sour crabbage easier, easier pudding pie than anybody else's sour crabbage. You don't gotta get a pounding thing and a wooden mallet like they do in the old country, nothing like that. All you gotta use is these. And you pick up the crabbage and you mush it. And what you wanna get is the cabbage to sweat. Yes, you do. Because when it sweats and the juices start to come out of the cabbage, and you can see it much more better as if it's a purple cabbage, then it's ready to boof into your jaws. Mm -hmm. And it's satisfying. Oh, yeah. You know, while you're mushing your cabbage, you can think happy thoughts. You can stick happy thoughts in your cabbage because it's a liquid. Like a human being, it's a liquid. And liquids carry vibrations very, very quickly. Very quickly indeed. So, if you think, loves you, loves you, you think, Nutrition! Nutrition! Oh, Nutrition! Very famous fairy song. Yeah, something like that. You think, health? Woo, and you stick it right inside the cabbage. Now, look at this stuff here. You can see how it's kind of getting all sweaty. It's kind of getting sweat of fired. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Now, I'm going to separate this into a couple of batches. So I can put different things in. I'm going to put in one caraway seeds. In another, I'm going to put um, ginger. Because ginger is really good for somebody with a tummy like yours. I'm not insulting your tummy. I'm making an observation. Take it or leave it. I can't put off the computer with the cabbage hands. Oh, come on! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! So, the last thing that we're going to add, which I forgot, is we're going to put a little bit of whey powder. Not a whole, whole bunch. I sometimes did this and I put in too much whey powder and it fermentified the crabbage very, very quickly. It made it mushy and kind of gross. Don't do that! So I put it in about a teaspoon per bottle. Kind of thing. Which for three cabbages ends up being about a tablespoon. Juniper berries. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, awesome. I put a caraway plant in her garden. I don't know if it's going to work here. I don't know. I never see caraway in the wild here. And I never see it in anybody else's garden. So I don't know if it's going to grow. Now you don't really need a lot in your sauerkraut. I like flavors. That's good. Oh boy, this crabbage is sweating. It's sweating like it's been working on a treadmill. She got one of those things. Gathering dust in the garage. Now, in this extremely technical process that is cooking with a fairy, we take the crabbage and we mush it in a jar. Now, these are wide mouth jars and you can see why I like them because you can smoosh the crabbage right down in there. It's crabbage. Absolutely fragile. There we go. Squishing in the crabbages. The more it juices, is, the better. Oh, I like it. I like a juicy, juicy crabbage. Push it right down in the jar. Push it, you push it, you push it. Now, obviously, you don't have your hands up your bum at any stage because that does not help matters at all. But now, you leave a little bit at the top because, like the other fermentified food that I showed you, like the chutney that I made for you. These guys, they juice a little bit and um, they can spill. So you're gonna leave it out on your counter for mm, three days, four days, depends. If it's hot, you leave it out a shorter time. And then you stick it in the refrigerator. And then two weeks later, you start putting it in your face and rum. Oh, and one more thing, in case anybody is having a lapse in brain pan power, I am not a doctor. Ha <laughs>